hello some people hope you are doing well today i'm going to show you how you can update or upset or insert a record on custom metadata by using the apex class so let's get to it first of all i will give you overview how you can actually achieve it we need to create an instance of the record we are trying to update or insert here you can see i have uh, created a diagram and there's an instance of the record and secondly we actually need to get an instance of the value so the instance of the value resides inside the instance of the record and thirdly we need to create an instance of the mass uh, metadata container so the metadata container holds the both of the instance of the record and the instance of the value and finally we need to deploy the whole container by using the nq deployment to the salesforce and thus our uh, update of the, our insert will be reflected on the uh, Salesforce org. So I might be sounding a bit confusing to you right now and I think it will be more clear to you when I when we go into the implementation of the Apex class. So first of all I will just go to the custom metadata. Mm, here you can see the I have already created a custom metadata and this is my API name. I will just copy it for future. And if I click in the manage records, here you can see there's a record and there's a checkbox called is valid. Okay. And my aim is to uh, update this checkbox value using the Apex class. That means I will be update, updating the value to true or false by using the Apex class. Uh, I hope you got the point. And so let's get into the implementation. First of all, I need to fetch records from that custom metadata type. So list, I'll be keeping them on the list. Hassan studies information MDT. This is my custom metadata type name. I'll just name it as meta list equals to. Um, I'm not following any convention for writing FX class, so don't mind me for the sake of the tutorial and. First of all, I will be selecting the master level and then the developer name. Then, then I have to select the checkbox, the checkbox field. I will copy the API name from the uh, org. I have copied it and pasting it here from the Hassan Studies MDT. Okay. <laughs> so I'm fetching the records. I actually have one record inside my org. So I'm fetching the record in the code. After that, uh, if we go once again to the slide, you can see I have I have to create an instance of the record I want to update or insert. So I will write here instance of the record. So what we need to do to create instance of the record? First of all, we need to read metadata dot custom metadata, and I will name it as m data data equals to new metadata dot custom metadata parenthesis close then m data dot full name this is the developer name okay and the full name will be first uh, i have to copy the api name of the custom metadata type okay and then dot then i have to once again uh, write the api name sorry the name is prefix as I'm using the Hassan studies as the nemesis prefix and close it and I'll copy the meta list meta list it's only giving me one record so zero and the developer name and after that m data dot label equals to meta list zero the first and the last record and the master label so that's it i have successfully created an instance of the record so what i actually did first of all i created the instance of the uh, custom metadata a dummy custom metadata record then on the full name which is the developer name i said this is the developer name and i have used the api name of the custom metadata type and i have used the namespace prefix then i have put the value i'm querying from the custom metadata uh, I, I'll be showing you if I go to the record here you can see the information name this one I'm actually uh, fetching this electricity this one 
this one uh, uh, electricity field the information name this one actually the information name this is the developer name okay I am fetching the developer name in here I'm saying the records developer name is this okay and for the label I'm saying the master label is this I'm assigning to the to it so I have successfully created the instance of the record now if I go to the slide uh, the second step is to create the instance of the value so i have to get instance of the value for that what i need to do metadata dot custom metadata value i'll just name it as instance equal to new sorry new metadata dot custom metadata value parenthesis close and instance dot field uh, this is this is the field for which I'm trying to update the value so you can see I have already copied it in here so I will paste it from here and close it and instance dot value equals to the value I'm trying to pass here you can see I have already a parameter called boolean value so I will just copy and paste it here so I have actually successfully created an instance of the value and if I go to the slide you can see I have uh, put the instance of the record inside the uh, sorry the instance of the value inside the instance of the record so I actually have to add the record and sorry I have to actually add the value inside the record uh, for that what I need to do um, I just write a comment adding the value to the record so how can we do that m data dot values dot add instance so this is the this is the code for adding the value to the record and i have passed through the second step and the third step is to create a metadata container and put both of the instance of the value and the instance of the record inside the metadata container so if we go to the base code we have to create a instance of the container how we can create an instance of the container we have to write metadata dot deploy container I'll just name it as container equals to new metadata dot deploy container parenthesis close and container I have to add the m data the m data is the instance of the record and the instance of the record holds the instance of the value so if I write container dot add metadata and the m data so what I actually did first of all I created an instance of the record and the record full name was the developer name I fetched from the uh, org okay for the Hassan studies information MDT and then I have created a value and I'm passing uh, I'll when I'll be calling this method I'll be passing a value true or false and I'm assigning the value to this Hassan studies valid field and after that I'm adding the value to the instance of the record and finally I'm creating a creating a metadata container and inside the container I'm adding the instance of the record so our third step is done I think you are getting me and I will move move on to the final step which is enqueue the deployment to the Salesforce org so for enqueuing, enqueuing the deployment We have to write metadata dot operations nqv there's no auto suggestion so I have to write everything container and here you can see I'm passing two parameters so what the first parameter is the container okay the container we have just created that that's the first parameter and the second parameter is the callback callback okay so I actually don't need to put the callback inside anything so I'm actually passing as null so I have actually created the uh, final method and I will be deploying it so let's see if there's any error inside my class 
okay i have successfully deployed it so that's great and i'll be going on my record manage record here you can see the is valid is unchecked so uh, i will call my call this apex class from developer console metadata utility absurd record and value i'll be pu putting it as false false and execute it let's wait yeah this is success if i refresh it the is valid should be false so that means it should be unchecked yeah you can see this is already unchecked that means our code is working successfully and if i once again uh, put true and execute it and i refresh it this is valid should be checked so yes it, it is checked so you can see my uh, apex class is working so we have successfully implemented the update operation for custom metadata record using the apex class so uh, i i will be showing one more thing which is creating creating a custom metadata record by the apex class for that what we actually need to do there's a very shortcut way you can see we are putting the developer name the developer name which is fetched from the org so if we actually change the developer name if we just give a new developer name new developer name so by doing so this uh, this instance of the record actually won't be finding this one you know what i mean so uh, previously it was getting the electricity as the developer name so i have updated it to a new developer name so it won't be getting the electricity developer name so when i insert or when i deploy this code right now it will be created as a new record since there's actually no developer name named as new developer name uh, I, I may sound a bit complex or sound a bit confusing i'll just uh, deploy the code i'll just deploy it deploy the source code and um, i will go to developer console and if i run it right now it should be creating a new record it so you can see this is success and if i refresh there should be a new record called new developer name yeah you can see yeah, the salesforce apex class already created a new record for me for the new developer name and once again if i want to update this value of this new developer name record i can just go to go to my developer console and if i write false if i refresh again see you can see the is valid is gone so guys this is it this is how you can actually update or uh, update or insert or assert a custom metadata record by using the apex class on salesforce org so this might this might come very handy in future if you want to actually prepare a script for your customer or client and you the client won't be needing to setting up the manual steps manually on the custom metadata uh, types uh, you can just run the script on the customers org by using the developer console or whatsoever that's up to you and this is it today guys so hope you have enjoyed the video and uh, if you have any confusions or suggestions or anything or if you want to see some videos on this specific topic you can just comment down below and hopefully i will be coming back with some new videos and new tricks on salesforce and other technologies i guess and that's all from me. Thank you. Take care.